Legs are definitely sore today after yesterday's bike ride. Let's go see what Hannah's doing. What are you making, baby? Um, I'm just making this recipe for the meal plan thing. Oh, nice. That looks fancy. It's not that fancy. <laughs> it looks really fancy. It's really easy. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. All right, so we got this in the mail yesterday. So this is like the final installment of our furniture. So we just got some like folding patio chairs and a folding table. Is that what this is? Yeah. Yes. And so it's kind of, um, so what's kind of cool with this thing here is all the furniture that we've purchased for the apartment is stuff that is gonna be easily moved in the future. So this in particular, like the chairs are folding and the table is folding. You know, obviously our couch right here, we essentially can just roll it up, um, put it in the roof bag, as well as our bed, we can just roll it up, put it in the roof bag. Our night or table stands or whatever that we have, we can just disassemble those and we're trying to keep everything like flat and compact. Um, just because we think we're going to delay going to Hawaii, so we don't think we're going to do it right at the end of our lease here um, in Tucson. Um, we could go into that into another video, the specific reasons for that, but we're thinking of moving back to Boulder uh, just for the summertime, and then we'll just maybe just keep moving around for a bit until we're ready to go to Hawaii because it's a very permanent decision to go all the way to Hawaii. Just because it's a very permanent decision to go to Hawaii and um, we're not sure if now is the perfect time for us because we really enjoy what we can do and what we can create on the mainland. So first things first though, let's open this up. Um, I don't think there's actually any assembly required with this. I think it's all just came together. Look at this, it's like bright green. It's Derek's favorite color. So this is our like little patio set here. And, and it's just something that we can use if we want to just sit down and eat, sit down and eat outside or something, or just play. We could play skip bow on it. Yeah. Hannah would be super excited with that. Eat on it, it's like a little bistro table. It's a little bistro table. Yeah, we always eat in bed. So this is really cool. Very simple, very minimal, um, packs up. We can take it wherever we want. And very good. How was your nap? Was it good or? How long was I asleep for? I don't know. I just came in and you're sleeping, and so then I did stuff on the computer. And Dewey's exhausted. He's done nothing all day long. This mountain's been whooping my ass. Yeah. Bonnie's just gotta recover, and it's all good. Do you want to go for a ride now? Give me a minute. <laughs> Baba, man, you've had a. Exhausting day, haven't you, buddy? Well, I was thinking maybe we could go to Target and then go to the mountain with you tomorrow, but you and Matt are too fast for me. Yeah. But we can at least go there. We'll ride to the mountain and we'll see how your legs are doing. And if we just ride back, then we just ride back. If you're wondering how I get the mobile shots, like when we're on the bike and stuff, Quick Pod Selfie Extreme. So it's got like the telescoping handle, Dang. which is awesome. And it's a GoPro Hero 4 Silver. We're gonna leave you out of your kennel this time, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna leave you out because we gotta get rid of that thing. It's too bulky and I don't wanna carry it around anywhere. From yeah. Here to Colorado. To He's kind of confused. He's like, normally they lock me in there, but now they're just kind of like. Locking me out of there. They're locking me out of there. I'm like, what's going on people with this? People don't understand. Like, some people are just like on my channel, they're like, why do you lock him in that cage? It's like, he honestly, like, that's his like safe place. He likes it in there. Mm -hmm. It's where he's been ever since he was a baby. So like when we leave, he knows that he's safe in there. And it's comfy in there. That's Lots how you train a puppy. Like you can't just leave them out because if you do, they'll piss and shit everywhere. Yeah. And then they'll never, ever, ever learn to hold their bladder. But they usually won't go potty in a place where they sleep because they're That's very right. clean animals. They just won't do that. We're gonna go real easy with Dave. You wanna go? No, no, no. <laughs> He just runs in there. He's so well trained that he knows that when we leave, or we're going for a bike ride or whatever, 
that he just goes right in there. Like, he's a very smart guy. He's very smart. He's very good at kisses. No problems there. You comfy there, Bubba? <laughs> Are you comfy? Hmm? Give me a kiss goodbye. <laughs> it is time to go. So today we rode 10k to the mountain to the bottom and then we're just gonna ride back home take it easy easy bruh so instead of because your legs are still pretty sore um, my whole body's just like dumb. my legs are still very sore as well so instead of trying to push yourself through sore legs it's easier just to go on just like a really cruisy ride yeah. and just let your body recover and instead of always trying to like push yourself push yourself push yourself it's like just take it easy most of the time and then you just want to push hard maybe once or twice a week yeah and like then... i like coming here though like derek's like oh you don't have to like, come up the mountain four times a week like i at least like to come to the base because like back in minnesota like a 20k ride would be really really hard for me so it's just hard for me to get here so if i can practice like getting to the mountain and like having it become less painful and like just that segment then it'll be a lot easier for me to get up the mountain because yeah. by the time i get to the mountain i'm like halfway toasted already i'm just like, i like coming to the mountain even if we don't go up the mountain just because it gets me in like the mindset of like mm. getting here yeah and then it gets easier and then i'm like oh it's not so hard and then like today mm. it was pretty easy yeah, it was pretty it was hard yesterday with I gave new good bikes effort, so. and like yeah just gotta let your body adjust and I don't want to like injure myself or wear myself out too much. We're gonna go home and go in the hot tub and drink some kombucha and Ooh, call yeah. it a day. Call it. So we just got home from our bike ride, our easy bra bike ride, and Dewey did not chew anything up. He didn't chew anything up. Nothing. That's a good boy. Good boy. It is quite nippy out, but we're still like... We're gonna brave it for you guys so that we can answer your... The, the only reason that we're going is to answer questions for you guys. Nah. It'd still be nice just to go in the jacuzzi. It's kind of warm. It's gonna be cold though. But it's gonna be war so warm in the jacuzzi. It's gonna be so Once nice. Once you get out though, I'm gonna be freezing my tits off. <laughs> You're gonna yeah. be freezing your <laughs> balls off. Yeah, totally. It's gonna be cold just walking there. Yeah. Cool bike. So the pool slash jacuzzi area was like locked uh, from both doors as well. So we think. 60 degrees out, so they're probably just like. Nobody's gonna go in there anyways. So no jacuzzi time today, but we do have a big mail time box. We'll do the mail time sequence. Mail time. Mail Boom! It is both. All right, so this is the dog's food. This is our vegan doggy food. Natural balance, vegan formula. And this, oh, our Instant Pot. It's like Christmas around here today. Santa came early. This Instant Pot was like the deal of the day. And it was only like 70 something dollars. It's only like 240. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's cool. It's like fucking... Dun, dun, dun. Boom. Look at all the features on it. What's this here? Ginormous manual here. I'll have to definitely give this a little bit of a read and see how I can start cooking some food up. So I was looking at some of the instructions for this Instant Pot thing. And for one of the recipes, it's like perfect jasmine white rice or whatever. And the cook time is four minutes? What the f is that? What have I been doing with my life? I've been waiting so long for rice to cook and this thing will do it in four minutes? That's ridiculous. For dinner, having some old white rice with some uh, fiesta salad, so just kind of warming that up a little bit. Then probably just chillaxing and relaxing on the computer for most of the night. And trying to figure out how this thing works. This thing is like heavy duty. 
So this is what we got. So we got some rice, fiesta salad. Just mixed together and warmed up. I think I might have to put some sauce on it. I kind of feel like if I want my meal to complete, there must be some sauce, but there's so many choices. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And remember as always, haters are gonna hate and potatoes are gonna always potate.